So hello and uh, welcome to a little bit of a quick um, review video. This is promised for uh, Olite. Um, Olite have sent me a couple of head torches that I've recently had out and used in my videos and stuff like that. Well, they asked if I could take a quick look at this or whether I was interested in taking a quick look at this. This is the Warrior, Warrior Mini 2. Um, now I haven't seen the Warrior Mini 1. It's not something that I'm um, aware of or I know much about, but I, I thought I'd give this a look because I love torches and with doing landscape photography, having a good torch that's small enough to carry around um, for getting out in the dark is really, really handy. So I thought, yeah, I'd give it a go. I'll have a look and uh, I'll take a quick look at it. I've also got over my shoulder, I've got one of the uh, O-Bulb which is going in my Christmas giveaway um, which would have already been out yesterday or the day before so yeah Olight have sent one of those as well so I've got a little pretty light to go off in my corner of my uh, van so it makes it all look nice and Christmassy and the idea is to show you this I'm going to quickly tell you about this I'm not going to go mad into the review of it because I just want to do a quick video to show you the power output of this thing this has got a maximum power output of uh, 1750 lumens which means it's massively bright um, but it only stays bright like that for about two minutes because it's on full power it's got a proximity sensor in the front as well so if you get it close to anything um, it will dim down so you don't actually set fire to anything and burn anything even though it's LED it does still get warm at you know 1700 lumens it's uh, quite bright. So this is the Warrior Mini 2. Um, I'm going to put a couple of little things up on the side of the screen for you. A few screenshots and uh, grab screens. Uh, it's got a strobe mode. So if you press this three times, you've got a button on the front, on the side there. And you've also got a button on the back. It has a magnetic... Um, attachment that goes on the back which is a charger uh, I haven't got it on me it's in the van somewhere over there but I will take a quick picture of it but it has a little magnetic charger that goes on the back this is magnetic as well there's nowhere in here I can show you sticking it to um, but it will actually stick to the side of you know your van or anything you know if you need to under your bonnet of your car or anything so it's really quite good it's classed as a ta tactical torch uh, so yeah you've got your turbo which like I said is 1750 lumens and uh, you've got a strobe on it as well I'm going to whack the strobe on but I'm not going to have it on for long so if you've got a uh, suffer with flashing lights uh, look away right now so three clicks and you get this strobe light and it is really quite um, quite a bright strobe light so you know you be be aware that if you're out in the open and someone's coming at you and you you know you want to stun them a little bit give them some of this strobe it'll probably slow them right down uh, that's the idea of it being a tactical torch, I suppose. It's got a clip. It comes with this nice, uh, great big clip on the side. So you can clip it to your bag, clip it to your belt, clip it to your pocket. It's also got a little ring on the bottom, which comes off. You can take these clip pieces off. It comes with a little ring and a little round carabiner. I like the little round carabiner because it can be hooked onto your side of your bag. You know, you haven't got to worry about losing it like I did today. This was attached to a pouch and I dropped the pouch off my camera bag and some person found it on the floor and put it on the chair so we could find it. Thank you very much to that person if you're watching. So yeah, like I say, it's pocket size. It's 4.7 inches, um, which means it fits in your pocket quite well. There's a rechargeable battery on the inside. It's a special battery with a lot of power. Um, what else have I got on my screen? I'm using my phone as well as I go along, so you'll see the pictures as I go along. Proximity sensor, like I said, it's got a proximity sensor in the front. So it basically means you've got different settings. I'm gonna put this on the lowest setting first. So I press and hold and it gives you a one watt, or a one lumen, sorry, a one lumen light. This is great for reading maps, reading the top of my camera, reading the back of the screen, even looking at your phone if you need to. It's a one, one lumen, very, very dim. You can see there it's really quite a dim light. Uh, press it to a normal light, so you press it on once, hold it, it goes to the first setting. Now, I'm not sure the amount of light that comes out of these. I think the first one's 50 lumens, the next one's, or 120 lumens, 50 lumens, something like that. I'll put it up on the screen anyway. I'm not gonna carry all the specs with me. I didn't think it was worth it because there's hundreds of people reviewing these. I just wanted to show you the torch. So yeah, you press and turn it on once and turn it off. So you turn it on once, you press and hold, and it goes up to the second setting. You can see that's a lot brighter. Press and hold again, it goes up to the third setting. As you can see there, it's even brighter still. Press and hold it again, it goes back down to one. Okay, so that's really good. So you turn it on and off and it's got a little green light on the back there. So you can see there that it's fully charged. It'll go down to an amber light and then it starts flashing. It goes to a red light, I think, to tell you it's on low power. So that's pretty handy as well. Um, if you want to go to the turbo, double click and you go to turbo. This thing is super, super sonic bright. But as I hold my hand to it, you can see that it dims down quite a lot 
um, because of that proximity center. I'll press it again, it goes back. Also on the back of this torch, you've got a second button on the back. This is really good. This is one of those tactical things. So if you've got the, got the thing in your hand, it comes with this lovely lanyard as well. So you can have this on your hand and you can be carrying this around. And if you've got a problem, you literally press the back of it and you've got this really full light on the back of the old uh, torch there. So you can use that button as well, but um, I'm one for using the little side button. Let's put my screen back on, see if I've got some specs for you, anything else that I can bring up and mention. Um, we told you about the back section. Um, it's on here. I'm going to read this out for you, but I'm going to put this up on the screen for you as well. So you've got a maximum beam distance of 220 meters, um, which is pretty pokey. I think you find that's on full power. So at 1,750 lumens, you're going to get a 220 meter beam. Now I'm going to take it outside of the van in a moment and take this out with you. So you might be seeing this as I'm talking and I'm going to do a few tests with it. I'm going to show you how far it beams out. I'm in a car park at the moment with a C literally about 50 yards away from me and we're getting some sea spray and mist coming over so you will see the beam in the mist um, it's got a 45 day maximum run time so on its lowest setting which is probably this one or even possibly the first one if i can turn it on this one um, you've got a maximum run time of 45 days which is really good because if you're like me and you get a bit scared of the dark if you're out on your own and you're not too keen of walking around in the dark having a torch is going to last you 45 days is really really handy um, battery it has a it's got a customized battery in it. Um, it's 3,500 3, milliamps. Uh, it's a 18650 battery, and that's included. That's inside this torch. So when you get this torch, you unscrew it, pull the little plastic tab off, and away you go. Uh, it's waterproof to an IP8. Uh, IPX8, which means you can drop this in a puddle, and it'll be just fine. Or you can use it around. Um, around in the rain and you haven't got to worry about it packing up so it has got a waterproof roof waterproofosity um, and it's also been drop tested at 1.5 meters they say that you can drop this at 1.5 meters which is about six foot um, you can drop this on the floor and it will survive that I've not tested and I don't want to test because I don't want to break it. This comes in white. They sent me a white one, which is fantastic because it matches my van. It's really easy to see if I put it down or I drop it on the floor. I can see this really, really well. They do other colors. They do black. I think they do a gold. They do a red. They do some multicolor ones, but I love the white. I think it's really good. It's a great idea because you can see this when you put it down and you can find it in the dark. Um, check me notes. Again, I've got black on here. I've got to show you. I've got a picture. I'll put it up on the screen for you so you can see the other colors. The back button, which I've shown you. It comes with a charger. Again, I'm going to show you the picture of the charger. I'm not going to dig around for the lead because it's standard for Olight. They're magnetic chargers. They go on the back. Absolutely fantastic. Stick really well and you plug into the USB. I think that's about it. There's nothing more I can tell you. I'm going to take it outside now. I'm going to do a few tests with it. Show you the different beam patterns, the bit and different power settings. And uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic little torch. And I would highly recommend getting one if you want to keep something in your kit bag and you're scared of the dark like me sometimes or you frighten yourself and you've got a handy little torch on you. Very, very cool. So you can see the torch has got those three beams on it. And I just wanted to show you the difference on the three beams. And I'm not sure this does it a lot of justice, but the first beam is uh, just, just a normal little light. It's great for lighting around, around your feet and stuff like that, which is fine. You know, I can find things in the dark. Uh, it's not on the lowest setting, but it's the lowest normal setting out of the three. So if I press it up and go to the next one up, you see that's quite bright. So it's actually illuminating a bit further away now. I can actually see quite a lot. I can see the, you know, the toilet block that's near us and I can see over the other side of the road and I can see down, you know, the bushes and stuff like that. And then I can hit the third button press and hold it goes up even brighter so that's a lot of a that's a really bright quite bright light you can see all the way across the other side of the road now with that it's actually um illuminating hell of a lot and the beam is going up quite some way and i might get the camera and show you in a moment and then what i can do then is if i can press and hold it again if i press and double click that takes you to that super turbo now that's really great if someone walks up on you now and you put that super turbo in front of your face I'm not kidding you, that's really, really bright. So uh... so yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I've got landscape videos on a Wednesday and a Sunday, except for over Christmas where it's all random. And uh, yeah, links in the description below for this and for the um, Olight uh, orb or O-bulb, whatever they call it. Absolutely fantastic little thing. I've been playing with that for ages. You just turn it on and off at the bottom. On, 
like that. So you've got different settings, white, brighter white, you've got a red setting, you've got a green setting, you've got blue setting, you've got a multicolor setting that changes slowly, and you've got a one that flashes, and then you've also got a red emergency one. So you can stick this, this is all magnetic, you can stick this on the side of your van or the back of your car if you're out in the park, you know, broken down in the road, and you can see it's quite a good little emergency service one. Um, so yeah, absolutely fantastic little thing as well. That's called the O bulb. Uh, MC, it's the new, it's the new version, and uh, yeah, highly recommended for Christmas because, like I say, I've got this lovely little Christmas flashing light on the back, and I can change colours and can have it nice and illuminated. So yeah, happy Christmas, everyone, and uh, see you soon. Bye.